Written, edited, illustrated, and read by AA members, AA Grapevine and AA La Vigne link one alcoholic to another through contemporary stories exploring what it was like, what happened, and what it's like now. In 1944, six New York AA members created a newsletter for area alcoholics. They brought the idea to Bill W., who long felt that AA needed a magazine to connect its widely separated groups. The first issue of AA Grapevine published in June 1944. A free copy was sent to every AA group in the country and to all known AA members in the armed forces. AA Grapevine caught on, connecting the expanding world of AA. Soldiers called it AA's Meeting in Print. Bill W. dubbed it a mirror of the fellowship and a forum for debate. AA Grapevine's most prolific contributor, Bill W., wrote more than 150 articles from June 1944 to December 1970. His articles provided insights into AA history and laid out the 12 traditions, and suggested the then controversial notion of a general service conference. Bill's writing on personal issues inspires and heartens countless AAs. The Language of the Heart, a collection of Bill's essays, remains Grapevine's most popular book in print, audio, and digital formats. The AA preamble was crafted by the first AA Grapevine editor, Tom Y., based on the forward to the first edition of the big book. It first ran in the June 1947 Grapevine. AA's five most common slogans first appeared in print in an AA Grapevine series between September 1956 and February 1957. These issues featured a hand-lettered slogan on the inside back cover with an essay inside. The second, third, and fourth editions of the big book included 16 Grapevine stories. Today, AA Grapevine and her sister publication, the bi-monthly Spanish-language magazine AA La Vigne, are great resources for current stories about how members find recovery and live sober. AA Grapevine's daily quote pings faithfully into inboxes each morning. Grapevine's hallmark cartoons make us laugh. AA Grapevine editor Jack M. created Victor E. in 1962. He's close to a drink, but his higher power saves the day. But mostly, it's about the stories. AA Grapevine's digital archive holds thousands of stories and is the world's greatest repository of AA experience, wisdom, and fellowship. New stories appear monthly in AA Grapevine and AA La Vigna magazines and weekly with an AA Grapevine online subscription. More can be found in many books, ebooks, and audiobooks in a wide array of topics. On AA Grapevine's YouTube channel, the audio project contains Grapevine and La Vigna stories of experience, strength, and hope from members speaking directly from their hearts. Learning to trust and have that faith is so important because it builds the foundation for my recovery. AA Grapevine cannot receive contributions and is supported entirely through sale of magazines and web subscriptions and the sale of books and other items. AA Grapevine reaches an average of 2.5 readers per copy, an estimated pass-along reach of 170,000 monthly, making it a profound 12-step tool. Back in the 1940s, AA groups were remote and AA grapevines spread because people were eager to hear how other members, other groups, stayed sober. Today, AA Grapevine and Lavinia continue to connect all of us in print, online, and audio. You'll find the magazines in prisons, rehabs, and hospitals, in homes and AA rooms, at conferences and international conventions, wherever alcoholics strive for sobriety. The spread of AA Grapevine and Lavinia is due in no small part to the intrepid service of AA Grapevine and Lavinia reps who tirelessly work to carry the message and benefit of both publications on the group, district, and area levels. Grapevine and Lavinia are the living community of AA, past, present, and future. Bill W. put it this way, We of the Grapevine once more affirm that this is your periodical. It will be the vehicle for your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences, and your aspirations. Always wishing to reflect AA and nothing but AA, it will be the ideal of the Grapevine always to serve, never to dictate or command. Please help us make it a true voice.